Tyler Higby might not have huge numbers, but he's an unsung hero of the Rams offense, especially in these playoffs. Sean McVay operates largely out of 11 personnel, so a tight end or an H-back is essential for the offense to run smoothly and, and allows McVay to add gaps in the run game and create mismatches in the pass game. Higby won't wow you with his athleticism or route guys up, but he's a big body and he's great at blocking in space. McVay tends to like to run wide zone weak, and that means running away from his formational strength and particularly away from Tyler Higby. In the wide zone scheme, the back side of the run concept is just as important, if not more important, than the front side. Cutting off the angles of linebackers and safeties or walling off defensive ends in pursuit creates cutback creases and explosive gains. Higby is one of the best at that particular type of block, and it's a big reason why McVay likes to run weak. Higby's more athletic and better in space than a tackle would be in his same position. Climbing and walling off defenders in space isn't easy. So instead of putting him front side and having him deal with defensive ends and, and linebackers and moving guys out of the way, instead he can just go be athletic on the back side and, and cut guys off and use his athleticism to, to get in front and create seams and creases down the back side of the run concept. The power of wide zone is its ability to hit anywhere along the line. Linebackers have to flow to the horizontal threat, but if they get out of position, they can quickly get gashed on a cutback. The Cardinals' defensive tackle, number 90, Rashard Lawrence, immediately crosses the face of the offensive guard to the play side. That tells Cam Akers to start to read backside for the cutback. That's when Higby's block comes into play. The backside guard and tackler are engaged with their defenders, and Higby uses a pushover technique to help the backside tackle handle Chandler Jones. He then climbs to the linebacker, and you can see where a huge lane would be opening up if number 18 for the Rams is able to wall off his block. Those second level blocks don't always end up mattering or contributing heavily to the, the actual results of the play, but when they do, they create big plays, and Higby consistently gets onto his man at that level. Higby is also able to hold up relatively well in pass protection, which only adds to his versatility, especially with an injured Andrew Whitworth in the playoffs this year. The Rams have used him a number of times to give chips to help back up left tackle Joe Noteboom. With Noteboom also getting injured against the Bucks, Higby will likely be giving a lot of help against the likes of Nick Bosa on Sunday. All of Higby's work in pass protection and run blocking bleeds into McVay's scheme to help get him open off of boot action. The releases he takes for those pass plays all look strikingly similar and put the defense in conflict. Higby's versatility is what makes him so impactful even if he's not touching the ball. The Rams align him all over the field to create matchups, pull defenders away, and challenge the defense to adjust. They'll line up outside in the slot, block for RPOs, be in line, and do anything that you ask him to do. Tyler Higby just gets the job done. It might not be flashy, he might not have a ton of yards, but he's consistently in the right place at the right time. Sean McVay uses him to help set the strength of the defense and attack second level defenders. He then schemes him open off of run concepts. He helps the Rams offense stay on schedule and will be an integral part of their potential Super Bowl run. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know someone, a scheme, idea, person who you want to see broken down here in the future. I'm also releasing a speaking football course that goes over the basics of the language of football, what techniques are, what alignments are. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description.